Hi guys, my name is Saikaran and welcome to my YouTube channel VR. So in this video, I'm going to share with you a fantastic uh, VR framework that which I have uh, came across very recently. I mean, not very recently, but maybe two, three months back. And uh, I really liked it. I have worked on it for a couple of projects and I think uh, it deserves to be shared to the community because I wonder uh, why, why is it not so famous because it's too good and uh, you will know why in a second. So before that, uh, let's roll the intro. Okay, so now that we are here, we are going to talk about the SDK called Ultimate XR and believe me, it stands up to its name. So, a little bit of background here. So, this Ultimate XR VR framework is developed by a company called VR Mada and it's been in development for quite some time and you can, uh, you know, get all the details uh, on the um, Unity Asset Store uh, page. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just forgot to mention. Uh, so, this is also available to download from Unity Asset Store. Uh, which was previously not available but it's good that uh, you can directly get it from here uh, previously you need to uh, you know get it from github or uh, through a package and stuff now it's good that uh, it's on the asset store right okay so i actually came across this asset uh, through a linkedin post uh, from the company and i wanted to give it a try and i tried it and it really good okay so now why should you use this particular SDK whereas you have Unity XR Interaction Toolkit where you have, you have proper, I mean, a company's own uh, SDKs like Oculus Integration and, and um, other related uh, SDKs depending on the hardware that you want to work. So the reason uh, would be like, I mean, it's clearly it's here. So, so in short, it's, it's easier, faster and better with uh, Ultimate XR. Uh, one thing it's in, so it's, it's too good that uh, I really uh, appreciate the fact that it's really free and they are really dedicated and uh, one initial uh, doubt I, uh, that I had and still I have is how well this uh, SDK will be supported going forward but um, I think they have mentioned somewhere right somewhere that they are really into that and wanted to support but I'm not sure where I've read it but uh, give me a second yeah uh, found it uh, yes but will it be maintained of course it is the backbone of our company via Mada as I said uh, it's been uh, they have been using this since 2016 and will continue to do so for years to come we are determined to make it best via framework possible and it's good it's good that they're, they're heading in that direction and uh, so yeah and also it's cross device compatible uh, it's not that uh, it's gonna only work with quest uh, I have work with Quest, Quest 2 and also Quest Pro. I was surprised that it, uh, it works seamlessly with Quest Pro 2. And compared to Office integration other SDKs, uh, uh, this SDK comes with a couple of editor tools like uh, hand pose uh, editor wherein it's really highly uh, sophisticated and it's really easy for you to create uh, grab poses for different objects based on the shape and you can also specify multiple grab points. And uh, one more thing is uh, they have different sets of gloves you know, uh, and, a, and a couple of hands, which is small and big hands. They have is they has they, are, they it, it also has an avatar system, which is really good. But uh, by, by the, uh, at the time of recording this video, it's only half body. Uh, it might or might not be updated to full body, but I'm not sure. I, I think it's still half body. The last time I checked with it, and it also comes with different gloves, and it's really good. Um, I think in order to show the capabilities, I think it's better to you know. Uh, play the video or play the teaser rather so this is the teaser this is the water that you want to see here will be part of the SDK someday uh, uh, the reason why I said someday is whatever that you want to see here is not there at the SDK right now but uh, what are the most of the basic things that you are expecting out of the VR SDK will be there So I really like that they said from developers to two developers, like it's kind of uh, giving back to you know the community uh, kind of thing. Yeah, and it's really production ready. Yeah, I would say. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, one more thing I forgot to mention is this also comes with a really cool uh, weapon system where you can grab uh, different types of guns uh, which has different sides of loading mechanisms and shooting mechanisms. Um, I would uh, argue to uh, download it as soon as possible and they have a demo scene where you can explore uh, most of the functionality there. So as you can see these are the grab poses and you can play with it. So this is the grab po uh, hand pose editor that I was talking about here. You can individually uh, modify each and every finger uh, in terms of uh, uh, to create a great hand pose fit for a particular object that you want to try. Okay, now I think after all this, uh, you have some basic understanding about what this uh, uh, SDK is capable of. And if you want, I can make a tutorial series out of it and can show you how to set this up for different SDKs and for different head headsets and uh, how do we uh, use custom avatars and how do we, uh, you know, create grab poses and all that. But to be honest, uh, if you if you are able to spend some time with the documentation here. They have pretty neat and clean documentation uh, and one more thing is other than the documentation they also have a dedicated uh, discard server uh, for ultimate xr um, so i think this guy i don't know how to pronounce his name but i think he's the one from the company and um, whenever you are stuck with something and you when you come here and post it uh, they're pretty usually are pretty fast to respond and uh, he, he might not be not he might not be the only one but all, all of the other people who are using this to build some crazy uh, awesome VR experiences are also there to help you out uh, but uh, if you ask me my, my personal suggestion would be is to spend some time with uh, you know uh, the official documentation here even the all the scripts are pretty well commented uh, you can go to the guides and go to the API scripting API and injection everything is uh, laid out really well and Particularly, there's an how do I section uh, in the documentation and I really um, suggest all of you guys uh, watching to go through this uh, documentation uh, once. It's not, I mean, it's really interesting. Uh, for example, uh, in the how do I section, what they would cover is um, basically, it basically covers the most, probably uh, the most important aspects that you might end up using in the, uh, what any, uh, most of the VR applications like uh, how do I animate a color over time? Uh, how do I make things start moving linearly in wall space? How do I start making bouncing? So you don't have to go sit and write code from the scratch in order to achieve this and you can just call their functions and you can, and they also uh, tell you when to stop and how to subscribe to the events or how not to subscribe to the events. For example, you can create uh, um, what you call the hotspots or uh, teleportation points or uh, you can know which direction the avatar is looking at and you can play animations and one more important thing is this comes with uh, i think i already mentioned the weaponry system guess yeah that's, so that's fine and and also let's say if you want to grab a particular object and you want to enable or you want to highlight the object before you grab you don't have to do anything most of the things are covered including the haptics yeah even the haptics are covered most of them are here and particularly the very interesting part is how easy for is for us uh, to for anyone to basically bring their own new customized avatar and uh, basically 3d uh, character and uh, set it up with the their avatar system and the ik system and works fully flawless and i think you should not take more than five to ten minutes or if you're doing it for the very first time maybe 10 20 minutes in fact uh, they, they if you can see here they claim uh, uh, the full avatar setup with uh, IK will be done under 60 seconds, but maybe it might take a little, uh, you know, longer uh, depending on whether it's your whether it's your first time or you're using the SDK. But yeah, you got the point, right? It's pretty straightforward and really uh, easy. And and uh, the fact the uh, which is really easy is because uh, it comes with assistant. When I say assistant, uh, there will be warning saying you're missing missing this particular component. Add this, add this, add this, as in this, as in this, and all that. So that's really great. Uh, let's look at what are the other uh, things that this uh, SDK is offering and also UI. Uh, so you don't need to uh, do a lot of stuff in order for the 
your existing UI to work or uh, the your regular uh, uh, Unity UI to work. I mean, you can you need to add a couple of components uh, in the UI system and also on the canvases to make it work. But once you do that, it's like pretty straightforward. And you can also interact with the UI with the laser tips and also using the finger tips and all that. Uh, in fact, I have planned, uh, uh, you know, taking you guys through the VR example scene by strapping on a VR headset to my head. But then I thought uh, you should also do some work, you know, uh, instead of rather than just watching my video. So, so don't waste time. Go to their website, uh, download their uh, package and explore it. And let me know if you found it really interesting. And the very objective of, uh, for, for, for me to make this video is to spread the word about this SDK because it's really great. And I don't want, uh, I mean, it deserves uh, to be uh, discovered by a lot many people. Uh, I really don't know why it's not there yet, but yeah, anyway. Uh, so that's it for this video. And if you want more videos like this, like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel and bye bye.